Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to our next snippet. Now we recently created snippet 47. That was our previous snippet. And I thought now we'd work on to snippet 48. So we just have a quick look at 47. So when we did 47, we created the background and then we got a second generation print, if you remember. This was the second generation print, which I'm going to use. So if you didn't do the second generation print, just go back to snippet 47 and you'll see how we did the second generation print and then you can use that. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use stamp set art 360 so stamp set hash 902 so i'm going to use that stamp which i've got all ready and i'm going to ink that stamp up and just with my black nocturne ink now i need to give that a really good inking just to make sure we've got good coverage so you'll see that i tap the stamp quite frequently i don't scrimp on that ink but then don't stress if you don't get a perfect image because this is your background so it's not too much of a problem and if you remember when we did the background piece it was made with an a7 acrylic block so this a7 stamp fits beautifully it fits perfectly just what we want and we've got that oxide ink in there and it's had plenty of time to dry because I've just left that on one side when I made the second generation print and just left that to do its thing. Now you can see even when I've only got 15 minutes I don't rush the process of allowing that ink to absorb into the card. I've got the All and Create acrylic blocks so I can leave those just turning that on the side so you can see me do that and I can just leave it the acrylic block and get a beautiful image now that in its own right with a sentiment you could just leave it like that if you wished of course I'm not going to then when you look at the stamp you can see there's this a here that is on the stamp so I've stamped that out and I've kept that in black and white which I'm going to add to here <coughs> So let's just add, obviously we don't want to add too much dimension, but if you're going to create a card with the same design, say that you're looking through your snippets and you want to create a card from it, then just add a little bit of dimension for the card to make it look a little bit different. So then we've got that contrast of the white that goes again with the white border. What I'm going to do then is use stamp set paper leaves stamp set 930 which is an aster and i just love this stamp set if i just grab a piece of scrap card so we can just stamp that stamp i have cut the stamp out so let's just have a look at the stamp because it's just a beautiful stamp the detail is amazing and when you're talking about an a7 stamp I just think the detail in this is just fantastic. There we go. So just again, I'm just allowing that stamp just to soak into the card. You can see that I don't rush the process. The VersaFine Clair Nocturne ink has a good open time, which means it stays wetter longer. So that means that it gives me plenty of time with no rush to ink that stamp and the ink won't dry on the stamp, it stays wet, so therefore we get a nice, crisp, clean, good image, along with those All and Create acrylic blocks. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. And what I've done is I've cut the stamp out, just so you can see here. Now, if you wanted to create a card like that, you could add a sentiment and that would be your card done. Now, I've coloured this flower with my Ecoline pens. I have used Deep Orange 237, Fuchsia 350, and Scarlet 334. So I've used those three colours to colour my flower. And what I'm going to do, so A 
is for Asta, not just art. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive just to the centre here. And what I'm going to do now is just because the, the petals are still wet, so I'm just going to pinch them a little bit. Just dip my hand in the glue like you do. Just pinching those petals a little bit just to give them a bit more life. And I've just added the adhesive just in the centre. Obviously, when you close the book, that'll get flattened a bit, but just giving it a little bit of life just while I do the video so that if you were creating a card from it, you can see that you can add a bit of life to that. I'm then going to add some gel pen to that shortly. And then the stamp set that I use for the numbers here, the 48, is Garden Mix Tagged and it's stamp set 899. And on there is the word Botanical and I've stamped that out and I'm going to use that word botanical here as well because I don't want to cover the A so just have a look where you would like that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a black outline just to give it a foam mat and I'm just tilting that Posca pen just back a little bit just to make sure I just catch the edges of the card. We used to do this with Krylon pens about 20 years ago. Krylon pens were the in thing then. So I'm going to add the botanical. Like so. Just add this here. And just give that a little bit of time just to grab hold. Whilst that's just drying for a couple of seconds, I will grab my yellow Posca pen. There's just something about yellow. It, it really just adds some vibrancy. So we'll add some yellow splatters shortly. And then what I'm going to do is just, let's make sure that gel pen's working. There we go. And I'm just going to add a little bit of white just to my floral. And you can just, I have left a sort of a white space just on the flowers so that it, it sort of got a little bit of a, a shine. So I have left a little bit of a, a white touch just to the, so that you can see that. So I have left a little bit of white. I've then got my yellow Posca pen and I'm just going to add touches of that yellow, which I just love because it just adds some lovely vibrancy and picks up the yellow that's in the background. There we go. And then we'll add some of that white. Just want that white to also hit the flower again to give some more vibrancy. Let's just wipe our area just so that we can bring our book in. Not that it matters because the book's got goodness knows what on it. So let's bring in snippet 47 and put snippet 48 just against the black backdrop. Now doesn't that look lovely when they're together? And I think I shall have to do this technique again but with different colours because I think it's so effective. It really is really effective just so that you can see that. But I love how you can use that A for art, Asta, and it just works beautifully. So I hope you've enjoyed snippet 48 and i shall see you all soon love to all bye for now